welcome everyone so today we are going to talk about an important name reactions which is provost and woodworth dihydroxylation and these are basically a reagents which are used for the dihydroxylation of alkenes and depending upon the reagent we use we either end up getting the trans dior and cis dior so this is going to be a very short video i mean uh, which we will talk about the mechanism of the reaction and we will see one or two examples and and see i mean in case if we want to get the trans diols which condition we have to use and if we can want so provost reagent let's first of all talk about the provost reagent it is basically a thing but iodine which is dissolved in ccl4 and uh, to this we add an equivalent amount of dry silver acetate and silver benzoid remember this condition whenever we are doing the provost dihydroxylation the conditions are always dry means anhydrous condition free of moisture there should not be any moisture in the media otherwise we will end up getting the trans diols remember this so the most important condition is iodine silver acetate or silver benzoid and dry condition okay so what do we end up getting is we start from the alkenes and we end up getting the trans glycerol either the diacetyl or dibenzoyl derivative depending upon the silver salt we use and then this was subjected to sponification to get the trans diol so here we have uh, it's a very very good example which shows the cyclohexene subjected to the to dihydroxylation under provost condition give us the trans diol now remember one thing here we are talking about the provost and woodworth reagent for dihydroxylation so both of them are used only for the cis alkenes not for the trans alkenes just keep this in mind so if we talk about the mechanism of the reaction it starts with the attack of the alkene on the iodine and this iodine bond is polarized by coordination with this mercury mercury salt <clears throat> which leads to the formation of iodonium ion now the iodonium ion is uh, subjected to ring opening by a acetate ion which is subjected which is uh, you know ejected out of uh, silver acetate as a result of which we get this o acetate and iodine which are trans to each other now here in what happens the iodine again coordinates with the mercuric salt as a result of which there is an enzymatic assistance from the acetate ion to form this uh, you know five membered ring now since in the reaction media we don't have any other nucleophile that is present so the acetate ion it attacks the uh, it attacks to form the trans diacetate product okay because this attack is going to be from the opposite side so we get the trans diacetate which on hydrolysis give us the trans diol okay so that's why we are uh, we end up getting the trans diol in the case of the provost so if we look at this reaction then these alkenes they are either in conjugate they are in conjugation whereas this alkene is the free so only when this is subjected to the provost dihydroxylation condition we end up getting the trans diol just whenever you see uh whenever you are but whenever you are not sure about the uh, you know whether it is prevost or woodward just always make sure there is no mention of water or moist water or something like that or moist acetic acid it should not be there so instead of acetic acid what we use is a solvent like ccl4 okay so just make sure you keep this in mind now let's talk about the woodward reagent so here instead of you know uh, instead of uh, 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 what we use is instead of CC in uh, iodine in CCL4, what do we use is iodine and equal amount of silver acetate or silver benzoate. This is absolutely fine. Now we are not using, we have replaced carbon tetrachloride. Instead, what we are using is moist uh, acetic acid. Moist acetic acid, nothing but I mean any acetic acid. You don't have to dry it. It has a bit of moisture in it, so you don't bother about drying it. Just buy it from the just. Buy it from outside, and that's it. It has ample water in it. Okay, and what is the advantage of Woodward reagent? You end up getting cis diol starting from the alkenes. Okay, so this is the intermediate that forms in both the cases, in as well in the Prevost dihydroxylation as well as Woodward dihydroxylation. So this is the intermediate. Now, what happened in the case of Prevost? You know, conditions is there was no uh, water present. So what happened? The acetate ion, although it was it's a very very weak nucleophile. It, attack and gave us the uh, trans diacetate product but here water is much stronger nucleophile so what it does it attacks this you know it attacks this particular position to release the positive charge and then this bond comes back to give us the diacetate and hydroxyl moiety now 
since this particular side is not disturbed at all, as a result of which the stereochemistry at these positions remains cis. Now this is subject to the saponification to give us the cis dion. Okay. And here is the representative example. So as I was saying, so okay, so here I have missed something. Here instead of you know acetic acid, it should be silver acid. Just consider Ag. Okay, and since we have the acetic acid as the media, so which is moist, so the product that we end up getting is the cis dion. Okay, just make sure this is a mistake. So this should be silver acetate. Okay, now instead of the silver acetate, silver salts are much expensive. So people have started using thallium acetate and the bismuth acetate as well. So if you see instead of you know silver acetate, if you see thallium acetate or bismuth acetate, just make sure you look for the exact condition. If it is CCl4. Prevost, if it is moist acetic acid, that is going to be Woodward condition. Woodward, you can end up getting cis diode. Okay. Just to wrap up the video, if you are going ahead with the Provost condition, then you will end up getting the trans diol after saponification. And if you start from the, uh, if you use the Woodward dihydroxylation condition, you will get the cis diode condition. The mechanism is pretty simple. I thought I should make a stop uh, short video and let you know about this. Okay. So thanks a lot for watching the video. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on my videos, share it with your friends. Okay, thank you very much. Have a nice day.